And flowers are a perennial favorite for Valentine's Day, no pun intended. So local distributors have been working around the clock to fill all of their orders. I visited one local business that will deliver its flowers today with a side of charity. Crunch time started more than a month ago. Well, we design our collection um, and determine what are the actual um, flower arrangements and bouquets that we'll be selling. But the real madness is reserved for the next several hours. We have 20 to 30 really regular great delivery drivers and couriers, um, and we'll have about 150 on Valentine's Day. Flowers for Dreams delivers hundreds of bouquets on an average day. On Valentine's Day, that number grows into the thousands. But if I want them delivered someplace, I should put it yeah. in online. The business started in 2012 as a side hustle for then college student Stephen Dime and a friend. Their flower truck was born after hundreds of dollars in peddling fines and a successful campaign to change one city ordinance. It was a law that was kind of implemented by a florist to prevent uh, competition in front of their shops. Flowers for Dreams has since grown into a game changer for the industry. Dimes West Town crew assemble bouquets by price point. $35 for a small, $55 for medium, $75 for large, and $95 for an extra large bouquet. The flowers are competitively priced, and whatever the business does make on sales, 25% of the profits go to a good cause. We've contributed over a quarter of a million dollars to local charities. And for the industry's biggest day, Flowers for Dreams has opened a pop-up shop in River North. We've expanded relatively slow for being around six years, but it's important to us to, again, that simple experience that it's right and beautiful every time and that our charities are still kind of at the forefront. Well, that pop-up shop is located at 406 North Wells. You can pick up a bouquet for your sweetheart there this morning, or you can look for the Flowers for Dreams truck at Revival Food Hall in the Loop around lunchtime. And a fun fact for you, the charity this month that is being benefited by mm -hmm. profits is the Center on Halstead. Oh, cool.